And we back. It's Vach, and uh, we're here to break down the offensive lineman of the year. I know people hate to draft offensive linemen, but I think you should draft at least one offensive lineman at some position every single year because you never know when you're going to need them. And uh, we got a damn good one for some damn good value, Tyler Biotish. Um I don't call him Tyler Biotish because I wasn't always able to pronounce his name. I, I just always call him Tyler Badass. So for the duration of his Cowboys career, I'm just going to call him Tyler Badass, and I would like to pass that on to y'all. Um we're going to talk about what I like about him, you know, uh, you know, just a handful of problems that he may have. And then we're going to talk about him and how he kind of stacks up in this offensive line room. Shouts out to the Cowboys for making that pick, man. But um, Tyler Badass, right? You know, there's a there, there are some reports that didn't like how he moved. They 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 favored his movement. They didn't favor his movement. They just liked, every, you know, the other little things about him, like him being able to move people, him, did, you know, him having, you know, power and things like that. I like his movement, man. I like his movement. I like him lining up, engaging with people. I like his IQ, how he lines up his offense. You know, he's the nucleus of this Wisconsin offense. You know, Wisconsin offensive lineman, man, is some associated with those guys. You know what I mean? Um, and we see him. Uh, he he had, he had a really good battle versus um versus um Devon Hamilton here for uh from Ohio State. And Hamilton, he got drafted in what the second round this year, something like that. He got drafted high, higher than than Tyler did, and he had a they had a pretty good fight right here. Um, you see him being able to step, get that movement, boom, run him down the run him down the line of scrimmage laterally there. Um But yes, 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 yes. Tyler, what what I like about him, I like his pass sets. Take a look at him here, boom, boom, boom. He's gonna be the center for the duration of this uh of this video or whatnot. So I ain't gotta point him out to you. Um, I like him as a pass blocker. I like him as a run blocker. I like him run blocking versus big guys, but I also like him run blocking, getting to the next level. Um, I'm just going to run this film. Man. I ain't going to you know, chop this up and highlight it too much. I kind of got some points I want to hit on, but we could just run this, man. <clears throat> getting movement on, on Devon Hamilton. Let's go. Um, but I didn't think that the Cowboys were necessarily going to gonna go with Tyler because I didn't think he was going to be there in a pick that would make sense for us. But the Cowboys went Lamb first, and then we went th uh, three uh, three times on, on defense in a row. This is one of his cons right here. Let's talk about his cons. He, he'll get overextended sometimes, and that balance is just kind of have, <laughs> have him trip and fall and can't get up. That'll happen to him sometimes, so that's something that we that we possibly got to work on or what I, or work on or whatever. But um, that only happens every now and then. That only happens if he runs into somebody that he's having a real good fight with and he's trying to like deliver a blow. So that don't always happen. But for the most part, um, I I think he's a really good pass blocker, man. Really good run blocker. Really good on the next level. Um. I got a few timestamps here that I do want to get to in terms of him uh, getting to the next level. You know, we'll we'll cross that road whenever we get there. But um, we know that Trav is leaving this thing, finding work right here. Take a look at him. Kick, 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 kick. Look over. Help his guy out. Um, we know that Travis Frederick leaving this thing left a big hole in his offense, not just the offensive line, but just the offense. Right. Um, so we were looking for center replacements. So what I think is about to happen with this interior offensive line here, this is one of my timestamp plays. So let me pause here. I think what's going to happen with the interior offensive line is it's going to be a battle between both Connors. OK, both Connors and Tyler. Right. And it comes down to how good you think Connor McGovern is. If Connor McGovern is better than Tyler, but not better than Williams, then Williams will be your left guard and Tyler will be. Uh, I mean, Williams will, will be your left guard and McGovern will be your center. But if if Tyler really comes in here and smokes it and takes over at center, then you're going to have a Williams and McGovern battle for the left guard. You see what I mean? So I like how the Cowboys just added, just added competition right here. If you listen to some of the pundits that have, that have some problems with his movement, take a look at your center right here. They said that they had some, some problems with his, with his movement and getting to the second level. I don't see any of these problems here. And this was my favorite play. This was my favorite play of this film, man. We're going to get a boom. First of all, look at, look at just the bump right here. Look at what the bump does to the one take. Bow, fall your ass down, boy. Uh, just so he can assist his um his right guard, get a good little scoop there. Boom, find my target. You see him, you you just see him getting his eyes inside to that backside backer. Climb, 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 angle. Boom, there. Keep that block going. Boom, boom, boom. Keep going. Bop, get hands on four. Ah. Listen, man, if you don't like this play, if you hated the fact that I rewinded it three, four, five times, you don't like football, man. That is a fantastic play 
from Tyler. Badass, right? And this is why I don't really like listening to the pundits, man. I want y'all to just listen to Vice and just kind of do your own research, man. Don't listen to the pundits, bro. But um, I'm such a fan of Tyler, man. There you go, pulling, putting people on the ground. Malik, um, Malik Harrison, Henderson? Malik Harrison, yes. Uh, he's their Sam linebacker, so he's a big thumper guy. There's not no small, weak dude right here, right? And we're going to get some pull, boom. We're going get to some, get some bodies on the floor. Um, of course, you know, we, we, we like to pull our centers. We like to get movement with our centers. So of course, man, Tyler being able to be a guy that can pull and deliver a blow when, you know, when he, when he gets there, uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty big feather in his cap, man. Um, but what does this mean for like Joe Looney or something? Hey man. Hey, yo, Joe, hey, let them young boys take over, man. We got a false start penalty there or something like that. Let me skip ahead. Um, Yo, Joe, let these let these let these young boys take over, man. Relax, relax, Joe. You did well for that for that one time you had to be the center, man. But I think this thing is gonna come down to McGovern. I think this thing is gonna come down to uh to uh, badass. And I just think, man, Connor Williams is um is gonna be your left guard. And he's gonna be like swing tackle as well. So <sighs> I'm a big fan of Joe Looney, man. But the Cowboys have done a good job of filling up this offensive line room. Take a look at your center right here. Kick, 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 boom, get there, engage, drop your butt. Man, take care of that pass block, man. We have a gym at center, a gym at center. If you go back and watch my offensive lineman ranking videos, I only ranked 12 offensive linemen, but I was doing all offensive linemen. And Tyler didn't make my – he didn't make my top 12 because he was my center number three and, I, and my center number two, Ruiz. Ruiz was like – 10 or something you know what i mean so i didn't have that much room to get tyler in there but i did mention tyler in the in the um the honorable mentions the guys that you know that i like that i didn't add to this list um he was going to be like a i don't know, like a third round guy to me but the fact that we were able to get him at the back of the fourth my goodness just ignore chase young beating the hell out of this tackle here but tyler getting hands on um tyler getting hands on the um on the uh d tackle there Come on, son. What are we doing here? What's this play? Let's just run this and see what's going on. Let's run this play. Let's run this play see what we got. What's happening here? Combo. Boom. Hey, Tyler ain't got a problem getting the second level to me. It don't look like Tyler got a problem with his movement to me. Listen, man. We got us one. This, this, And I'm dropping this film session before I drop the Neville Galmore film. I'm dropping this before I drop... Um, who 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 we who who else we got? Uh, like I'm dropping this early, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm super excited about this pick, man. I'm super super excited about this pick. So I had to get this film session out just so people can understand what our offensive line room just did. Look what our boy doing to Chase Young. Look what he doing to the second overall pick. Look what our boy doing to the second overall pick. Well, I feel good about Tyler Badass. Boy, I feel good about Tyler Badass. What about this play? Um, what happens here? Let's see what our center do. Look at our boy with the second. This is with the second overall pick. Look at our boy putting hay on the second overall pick. My voice cracking. I can't keep up. I was super excited when we got Tyler Badass, man. I'm super excited about this draft all together. I got a lot of film to break down, man. I mean, am I gonna am I gonna do a you know like an offensive line breakdown or whatever? Should I do that? I mean, if I do, it may be like content, like like extra content for the end of the video if I end up doing it. But um. I'm just so thrilled, so thrilled with Tyler Badass, man. He can shotgun snap. He can, you know, like, come on. <laughs> and I said that because all centers can't, can't shotgun snap. That's the actual thing. So look at that down block right there, man. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? You know, um, the Wisconsin running back, Jonathan Taylor, had like, like he um like he damn near bro broke all the Wisconsin records or whatever, had super crazy production. Well, as long as he was running back, Tyler was center. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tyler's not perfect, man. Like I said, he's not the perfect player. He will lean sometimes. He wasn't leaning right here, though. Look at your center. Mm, mm, mm. Good down block. Um, sometimes you'll you'll catch him leaning, and, and you know that you know that's okay. That may just be like a weight distribution thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know you don't want to catch him lunging. That's the problem. Like leaning is cool, but you don't want Tyler to lunge because that's when you know one of these like quick D linemen can get hands on him. And then next thing you know, your guys on the ground there. Take a look at Tyler right here, taking this bull rush and dropping his butt, giving ground slowly. Boom, 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 keeping his quarterback clean. Fantastic. 
Now, um, do I wish Tyler was a little stronger? Sure. Why? Because I like my centers to be a little bit stronger. Um, that's why I was so excited about Conor McGovern. Conor McGovern is a big, strong as interior player that could play center for you. So I was enjoying the notion of having a big, strong center. But this pick just made things really weird for Conor Williams. And Conor Williams is my son. And I'm a fan of Conor Williams. But this made things really weird for him because if Connor McGovern can come in and beat Connor Williams or he can show some type of, um, you know, improvement or uh, if, if he can pass him up and Tyler proves that he's an adequate center, then you got Connor McGovern and Tyler badass at center and left guard It's like that. And that's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? So, that's something we got to look out for, man. That's a real life thing that we got to, that we got to consider when we talk about going into camp, man, we talk about, uh, these, these battles between these, uh, these interior offensive linemen. Um, I know we got somebody, uh, Brandon Knight is a guy that we drafted and he's kind of our swing every position guy, you know, Brandon Knight is a guy that, um, can play some, some guard for you and can play some tackle, but I think Brandon Knight is going to be the permanent swing tackle. And, and I don't think Lael is ever going to move in and play guard anymore. I think, um, I think you should, you should take offensive line every single year. Why? Because five out of 11 positions on offense are your offensive line. And you don't really want to have a weak link there because that could prove to be a matchup problem for you. Um, but you know, sometimes you just want to get guy. Oh, look at your center. Oh, uh, look at your center. Ooh. I think sometimes you just want to have extra guys in your offensive line just to, um, you know, just for the battle, just for the competition, just to make everything, you know, just to like secure, you know, secure the bag, so to speak. You know, we didn't necessarily know that we needed a center last year when we took Conor McGovern, but, you know, just the idea of having him made us feel better about, hey, man, what if, you know, something happens to to Travis Frederick, you know, and we were able to to feel good about center for a handful of weeks. But, you know, if 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 Tyler Biotis just kind of falls in your lap here, this this center don't look like he got problems moving to me. Look at your center. Tyler Biotis don't look like he got problems moving to me. He don't look like he got problems moving to me. Nasty player. Nasty player. Combo breaker. My goodness. You just never know, man, what you what's going to happen with these offensive lines. So, um, hey, man, look, because uh, to be fair, Connor Williams may not be on this team forever. You know, I don't think we're going to necessarily trade Connor Williams because I think Connor Williams can be a good left tackle for you. Say all of a sudden at the end of training camp, something happens to Tyron Smith, right? I know everybody wants to get rid of 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 Connor Williams, but say something happens to uh, Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith just wakes up and says, my back hurt. I don't want to do this anymore, right? You move Connor Williams to left tackle. Connor McGovern is your left guard, and you got Tyler Biotis for your center. You know what I mean? Let's not just draft offensive line when we need offensive line. Let's get guys early. Let's get guys early so we ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I think I'm rambling at this point. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Hey, chat box, tell me what you think about um about Tyler Badass, man. He's our new center. I couldn't be more happy for uh uh where we got him at and value and all that to get this dude at the end of the fourth round. Vach is an offensive line whisperer. He is picking on Malik ha uh, Henderson. Harrison, Malik from Ohio State. He is picking on Malik from Ohio State. My goodness. <laughs> hey y'all hold it down for the doski walls and peace we man uh stay tuned for the rest of my film session this week salute the youtube illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that subscribing on my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you for less than a bag of almond m ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's patreon.com slash vach lombardi i appreciate the support doski woski salute